Hello Sagittarius, I hope you all are doing wonderful today. My name is Nati. So I will be hopping right into your energy. I want you all to take what fit, leave what doesn't. If anything does resonate with you, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel if you are really needed. Also, Sags Gang, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love, likes, comments. Thank you for the support. Thank y'all for everything that y'all did in here with Thomas Grow. I really appreciate you all. All right, so I will be doing one more shuffle. We're going to hop right into the energy for you, Sagittarius. All right, spirit energy for Sagittarius, please. Energy for Okay, we have the Ten of Wands, but it says laying down your burdens. It's in, it's in reverse, okay? So someone is laying down their burdens here because they just want some sort of balance, all right? Um, this could even be with legal issues. Some of you all are done with legal issues. Um, no longer stressing about legal issues. But this could be a connection to where someone was playing mind games with you. All right, watching you very hard here. Um, hmm, maybe this person just was watching you and not saying nothing and you felt like that wasn't fair. Someone, someone was watching you but not wanting to be in a commitment or something here. Okay, this person could have a material attachment with a karmic. <clears throat> And they were just watching you here, okay? Um, you can't have even been in a marriage with someone here where you have some sort of material attachment and that could have caused you to maybe not get a divorce. But whatever this case is, this could be someone you are married to or this can be someone who is watching you. This person can be married. They can be dealing with their karmic. They can have material attachments, but whatever it is, they are watching you. They were just watching you, not wanting to commit here. And someone is seeking closure. Energy for Sagittarius. So, yeah, someone is definitely seeking some closure because they know that someone is watching them but not wanting to commit. This is this has been a test of faith here, okay, because whoever this person is is very un unpredictable, all right? I feel like you're shifting your energy. Maybe at one point you were stressing like, this is not fair, you know, I'm married to this person. They're over there with that karmic, but they're constantly watching me, not wanting to give me any closure. Or it could be vice versa where you were here, okay? This person was in a marriage or in a long-term commitment. Um, they were watching you being unfair, um, not giving you closure, but you're finna lay those burdens down here and you're finna move forward here. You're finna shift your energy. Energy is finna be shifting real soon. This could be someone you are pregnant from or this could be someone who you have a child from. Um, it's given summer apple blossom for the child's name. But I feel like you're gonna shift your energy towards new love, okay? But I feel like the baby could cause some screens being attached because you are trying to move forward here. But you just don't get along with this person. You just don't get along with the karmic that they are attached to. Okay? Um, so you are moving forward towards new love. But the baby is causing some sort of attachment. They have some sort of material attachment with the karmic. And then they have screens attached with you. But you're going to be strong and you're going to receive an emperor with the ace of swords. That's the truth. Okay. Um, I feel like you have an invisible force here fighting for you. Fighting for your wishes to be granted. Fighting for you to get that clarity that you need. Okay. Um, this, could, this could be a very impulsive person here. Who you are laying your and 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 it's just as if, as impulsive as they are, you're going to be impulsive and in, in, in something. But 
someone will be seeking closure, all right, once you end something with someone. So you could be the one seeking closure or they could be seeking closure. Uh, but you're finna come into a divine masculine here. Energy for, and I do feel like before, even, even if you are trying to move on and you still have screens attached, you're shifting your energy. It was some sort of gifts. You guys could even have material attachments together. All right. So this has all been a test of faith for you, Sag. All right. But there's about to be a shift in energy. Energy for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Yeah, so you're going to be ending something here with the um, death card and moving forward. You're going to be holding back. I feel like you you are now getting that clarity that you have been needing for quite some time to get yourself to a stable state here emotionally. Maybe to know that this person is going to always continue to sabotage or be connected to this karmic energy here. Okay, they're going to always put, it's going to always be a battle between you and this karmic. And you just moving forward with the world car. You're ending things. Maybe recovering your finances here. You're laying your burdens down and you're blocking this connection. You are walking away. All right, with the judgment card. Energy for sad. Yeah, because this person really betrayed you. They couldn't even, like I said, y'all had some sort of, um, y'all had some sort of attachments too, possibly material okay material attachments but i feel like someone has been just so sad so stressed about what someone has been putting them through a loss and someone just been to end something Maybe it's always a cycle of breaking up with this person and getting back together. Breaking up and getting back together. And then even when you get back together with this person, it could still cause some sort of blockages with your finances somehow. Okay? This person could have even gotten with you to sabotage your finances. Something that took you a, a while to grow or to, you know, get stable for yourself. Or something here to where people love you. So, yeah, this is crazy. <clears throat> Some of y'all are thinking about a new vehicle. All right. Some of y'all are about to get a new vehicle. Y'all been walking. Um, But, yeah, I feel like this person is just going to always. <sighs> See, it's something because you, you knew that this, you could have. Felt like this was your person. You feel like you're losing a twin flame. Okay, you've been getting messages that this person has been dealing with third parties. Okay, so it's something secret that you've been going through. Something that you knew. And you've been sad. And now you're just going to end it. Or it could be a constant back and forth with others and this karmic here. It's just like this person, when it comes to these two connections with you and the karmic, um, it's like they don't, it's not given that they choose sides, but they could. They could be the type to try to protect both connections or make it to where this person could talk about you, but you can't talk about this person. I don't know what they be doing. They could be putting some sort of block up in this connection that they have a material attachment with. Okay, I don't know if they defend the karmic more than you. Okay, and you just walking away from that, walking towards people who love you. Yeah, so it's just like you getting tired of them defending the karmic more than they're defending you. That's what I'm seeing. Someone could be older. 
someone can be younger, the karmic can be older. You can be younger, take it how it feels, but yo, somebody, this is crazy. Somebody's just so tired of it. They tired of being a secret or being a third party. Okay, someone can have a baby. This person, this person, they are protecting this karmic. And you getting tired of it. And this is something you've been in for quite some time. You're going to be walking away from that. 